Sunday Travels is back with another exciting episode. Today's guest is Australian comedy royalty. He's a TV host, radio host. Dave Hughes is joining us in the kitchen. I'm gonna take him out of his comfort zone slightly. Sarah has inspired me, I'm in the kitchen. We're gonna play around with a few flavors. I really wanna to come to one of your shows. Good food's better than good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dave, your wife is Sri Lankan, right? Yes, her mother is Sri Lankan, so yeah, so we, yeah, well, my children are a quarter Sri Lankan. Yeah, mm. so that inspired your dish today? Absolutely. Uh, my mother in law, Colma, uh, makes some great Sri Lankan food, so, yeah. which I had the other day, in fact. So, yeah. yes, that's inspired what we're doing today. <laughs> so, what are we doing? Look, we're going to make a meal out of all this stuff, so, <laughs> including the onions and the yeah. beetroot and the. I like it. It's uh, so whatever that is. <laughs> so, yeah. It's um baby kale. Yes, because, baby kale. Love kale. You know, I, mm -hmm. I know when we chatted, you said that you wanted to be able to make a slightly fancier Sri Lankan dish for your yes, wife. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I let the team down at home in the cooking department. So I'm... That's one, uh, yeah, one room in the house. I'm definitely disappointed. My wife is the kitchen. So. <laughs> well, that's mm. what we're going to fix yeah, today. Good. So I have zhuzhed up your dish a little bit. So. Good. The yes. beetroot curry, we're going to play around with a few mm. flavours. So I've pickled some beetroot here. Love so it's pickled be, anything. Yeah, tangy, mm. sweet, yep. delicious. And then a beetroot curry, which is a pretty uh, authentic Sri Lankan dish. So I yeah. think it's a good one for you to learn. I look, I look forward to learning it. Yeah. Yes, I like onions. <laughs> onions just make every meal special, don't they? So these have basically been charred in the mm. pan, just, you know, faced out mm. with oil or Love ghee it. or whatever you want to use. And then it gets What's that ghee? beautiful... Ghee is clarified butter. It's used in a lot of um, Sri Lankan, Indian cooking. Yep. So it's clarified butter. So basically all the- Is it spelled G-H-I-A or? G-H-E-E. -E. Yeah. So- <laughs> Think of a car, there's a gear, isn't there? A Ford? <laughs> is it a Ford gear? Have you Ford, heard of I a Ford gear? No, I haven't. I don't think it's, I think it's discontinued model, but oh. probably people watching who have been in a Ford gear before. <laughs> Well, mm. let's um. Well, we won't use ghee today. We'll use some coconut oil to Good. start. So this one's um, cocoa earth. It's liquefied, so it's really easy. So you can go for it. Pop in some, some coconut, coconut oil. oil yep. So a, a, a capful or more, or um, just you cover can the go bottom. With like three tablespoons, kind of. Yeah. You tell me when. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Great. So I don't know if you remember, but. The first time we met was actually in the green room. Of the project? Of the, um, I think Studio 10 maybe? Oh, or yeah, Studio 10, yes, you're yeah, right. Yeah, and you yep. were a guest and we were both in the green room yes. and I told you what I was cooking and you were like, can I join your segment and cook with you? Yeah, right, yes, I yeah. do remember that. So, and I, was, I added to the flavour, I imagine, yeah. of the segment. <laughs> Speaking of flavour, curry remember. leaves. So you can throw those in. Now they spit a little bit. So you have to be... Spit, don't... Yeah, yeah so you'll see. Um, once the oil gets hot, they'll mm, start to spit. Smells good. Oh, straight away. So you can throw all of those in. Throw them in. Yep. Not the, not the yeah. middle bit though. Yeah, pick those off. Pick them off. Might just put a little bit What, what, what sort of leaves are these, sorry? These are curry leaves. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so once they fry off, you've got to go straight in with your onions so oh, that good. it'll um, cool down. Yeah. I'm just going to put a little bit more because it's all going on the outside. This... Yeah, I think okay. the more oil, the better. So I, as I always think, you can't have enough oil. Okay, now you can stir. Just yeah. saute. Is this sauteing? Saute. Or is it a saute? Is that what it is? Yeah, saute. So basically, I mean, today I really wanted to pick your brain because yeah, it's good. all about, and I think at the moment everyone has been through quite a crazy couple of years. Yes, of being locked at home. at home, basically. Yeah. And I really feel that through travel and and experiences you really grow and you you yeah, know start definitely to you realize understand. how how small your place in the world is and, yeah. and you relax about everything yeah and you know? you you know with your work and stand-up comedy i'm sure you've been going to a lot of places and... i have over the over my journey yeah my 27 year journey in comedy yeah yeah so yeah and i think like obviously every country you you more than anyone would probably know and see those nuances in culture and you well, know, you, the way people react to your jokes. You try to pick up on it. So, yeah, and on how people react differently. But as long as they can understand you. So I've got to talk slower sometimes when I'm overseas because when I speak fast, people... You wouldn't think that I do speak fast. I was but, just about to ask But you. when you're nervous, you speed yeah. up, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, it means you're comfortable now because you're... I'm slowing chilling. it down. Absolutely. I remember 
traveling to around Africa with my uh, girlfriend, who's now my wife. So that was, uh, I was shaped by my African experience. And, yeah, what uh, we did were, you do in Africa? We went on a backpacking trip with um, all these Europeans, actually. And the thing about Europeans in, I don't know if in general, but certainly the ones we were hanging out with, they can speak like two or three or four languages. It's crazy, isn't it? It's like magic to me when yeah. I can only speak English. So on, on this trip, I found out after a few days that the people on the trip speaking in other languages around the campfire were speaking about me, like in front of me, but behind my back because I didn't know what they were saying. And they were trying to work out how I'd got my girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what, what, what makes you say, she's like 10 years younger and you know, some would say in a different league looks wise and uh, yeah, they couldn't work out how, how I'd done it. How did you get your girlfriend? What's, well, that's, but what through being do? famous. <laughs> <laughs> No, through having a great Come personality. Come on, so you must have done something. Did you take her on a date? What did you? Well, I, we did. I, I took on a number of dates. Our first date was at a an IMAX theatre, actually, where we had to wear these helmets. You know, the, the, with the back in the day where like you had 3D and they... Yeah, and would, things jump out at they you. They jump and... out at you. So we were like, you know, wearing these big helmets. So there was no chance of smooching, you know, because we had the helmets on. So. so beetroots have gone in. I made up a little mix for you that you can take back so you can... Subtle. Yeah. Sri Lanka yeah. masala. So light, you know, wanted it to just, because I guess, um, you know, with a lot of Sri Lankan flavors, they are quite mild and it's yeah. not, you know, heavily spiced, um, uh, you know, so I'm going to add in some of that. So with, I mean, excuse my ignorance, but so Sri Lanka is next to India, isn't it? Yeah, very It's an close. island. Just... Yeah, very close. Yeah. yeah. And it's is the food of... very close in? Um, it's it... different, but there's similarities in the south of India that are, yeah. you know, curry leaves and coconut milk and yeah. all of those flavors. But yeah. as you go to the north of India, it changes completely. Can we do like a stand-up tour together of India? Yeah, totally. Yeah, well. The... Yeah, done. Can I'll make you, you like you, you can like. Yeah, honestly, I would love it. Yeah, I'm into it. Absolutely. Because <laughs> they love comedy in India, don't they? Oh, like, they do, for sure. Yes. So do your kids like travelling with you? They do, but their yeah. kids don't appreciate travellers. I hadn't been on a plane until I was 25, you know. What? Yeah, wow. like I was a very humble beginnings. Yeah, what my, was your first country you went to? The first country I went to was, you know, it was London. I went to London to do stand-up comedy. Look at that colour. Yeah, can beautiful? I do this so yeah, I look like can. I'm helping? Um, you got this. Yeah, England. The food isn't great in England, I'm not going to lie. Is that fair to say or am I um, being mean? I don't know. You think, I you think, think I'm being mean, don't no, you? No, I, I mean, there's... You're being I diplomatic? Think UK or? is a little bit similar to Australia in terms of, the, you know, they really take on a lot of other flavours as well. Yeah, so, you know, true. you have these little hubs in, in London, like yeah. Brick Lane and, you know, the best yeah, yeah. Indian food you can get. Well, that's true, and, yeah. you know, lots yeah. of different places where... Yeah, they've taken on, like, the national dishes are influenced from a lot of countries, well, yeah. you know. It's a bit of a hub, yeah, yeah. so yeah. Am, I am being diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it's all kind of thickening, but the beetroot needs a mm. little bit longer. It smells great. Yeah, yep. and I'm just going to pop the lid on. We'll be all back right, in pop- a bit. Yep, great. Good. Love it. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I do. No. Sometimes when I speak, people don't take me seriously. No, this is beautiful. This is the thing. Vegan food can feel so incredible and have textures and flavors and it doesn't feel vegan, you know? It's not like, you know, it doesn't have to be plain food. Exactly. Not just tofu, which I often just fry on its own. <laughs> Do you um, add some soy sauce or something? Sometimes it comes with soy already. Oh, You know, in the packs okay. from the supermarket. <laughs> okay, nice. Where it already comes in the... Yeah, yeah. It's got like, you know, Thai there. chili or something. Yeah. Different so flavors. Yeah, yeah. you just have to yeah, slice yeah. open the pack and yeah, put it in the fry pan and yeah. four minutes later. Yeah. Do you have like salad or something with that? Really should. No, no sure. just No, I do tofu. sometimes, again, <laughs> from the supermarket. <laughs> just open the pack. Open the pack. It's already washed. <laughs> well, I hope you've, um, you're enjoying the beetroot curry i want to come along to one of your stand-up shows so there'll be no eating during the show and that's a big thing no snacking no snacking really is that really a thing absolutely like, I, no often food. you'll be doing a show and i if you're doing a, like a corporate function and you always ask no you got no food i've actually yelled at people as the foods come out from stage 
Go back. Really? Go back. Yeah. And Wait, they're, they're, is it because waiters interrupts- with plates of food and you go, I'm going, no, go. Is that because it like breaks no, the food. flow? Yeah, exactly. Because People get distracted. Good food, good food's better than good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, once the good food comes, no one cares oh. about the comedian. So I'm like, go back. We're not eating. You're not eating. You can't laugh and eat at the same time. You can, but you know, we're interrupted. But it's been lacking for almost two years now. Yeah. And uh, really appreciating getting back on stage. It's, yeah. Uh, I, 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 will, I love it more than anything, apart from my family. Um, but I'm like, <laughs> I did say to my wife recently, I, stand up, I loved stand up comedy before I loved you, sweetie. So. <laughs> but no, I'm going to keep eating. We're not going home. This is, I have some more rice. Gonna, <laughs> yeah. It's great. I'll keep adding more in. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So it's been great. Yeah. Love no, the whole awesome. experience. No, I love cooking with you. It's like, you know, I love that you're so passionate about food. Like even that time when you wanted to get in the kitchen and <laughs> like you want to try. And, and I think that's the best part. So. Yeah, I'm going to, this is uh, this is the the kickstart I needed to, uh, to <laughs> not letting my wife down anymore. I'm going to cook for you. Holly, all right? <laughs> Sarah has inspired me. I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to give you a little spice blend so you can exactly. just make up a little curry. And dad, and kids, when dad cooks vegan, you eat it. Yeah. Right? You're eating it. I don't care. No ice cream until you finish your yeah. beetroot curry. <laughs>